Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I would do a get ready with me today um, because I was getting ready <laughs> and I thought uh, why not just turn on the camera. I also um, got a lot of inquiries when I wasn't wearing foundation um, in I think the videos that I recorded last week. I didn't have any foundation on, I just didn't feel like putting it on. I was traveling and a lot of you had commented that um, you were curious as to what was on my face then and, and how I put it on and sort of what my routine was, my no foundation routine was. So I thought I would do that because I'm kind of in that mood again. I just don't feel like putting foundation on. I just sort of want to have like a an everyday kind of no makeup makeup look today, um, which is appropriate because I'm not really going out. I'm not planning on going out. I probably have to later anyway. But with that said, if, uh, if you want to get ready with me, then whip out your makeup and let's get started. So I've already washed and uh, moisturized my face, so I'm just going to go in with primer. I'm going to go ahead and use my Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder Morning Aura Illuminating Cream. This is my favorite primer. It leaves my skin looking really healthy and radiant, and especially when I'm wearing no foundation, I feel like it's really important to get my skin looking super glowy and healthy and nice so I like a uh, illuminating primer um, if you don't have this one because I think it's sold out everywhere I think like the MAC strobe cream in gold is very similar um, what are some other ones there's like the Becca backlight priming filter I think is similar also this one is my favorite out of all of those but um, those are those are really good substitutes as well. So I have to tell you, I tried filming this Get Ready With Me a couple of times. I wanted to combine it with like doing a tag of some sort. So I thought I would do the beauty community tag and I was all excited and I ended up filming for like an hour and a half. And I realized for some reason, well, I realized many things. Actually, the first being that I can't really talk and do things at the same time, especially put makeup on. I just, I get so distracted. I like missed steps in my makeup routine. Like I got to powder, I like did all this stuff. And I also was misspeaking. So in the entire video, I was calling it the beauty community tab with a B instead of tag with a G. So yeah, so I did not uh, keep that footage and I thought, let's just keep it simple. Let's just do a get ready with me. Let's start small and then maybe I'll be able to incorporate both. But I think I'm gonna do um, some more kind of like uh, talking kind of videos um, in the near future because one thing I really wanted to do for my channel was just to kind of like get to know you guys better and I think to start, I have to let you guys get to know me better, and then that'll kind of start the conversation. So um, I do want to start doing, you know, just more like casual, chatty type videos, um, and you know, more like get ready with me. It's just more casual videos. Um, and I think in the beginning, like I just mentioned, I think I'm gonna have to start by <laughs> start by kind of doing them separately. Start by just having like videos where I'm talking to you and get ready with me's where I'm just sort of casually chatting. I think that's the most talking I can kind of do. Um, so I'm just using my Chanel Longwear Concealer, by the way, and I'm just covering up the discoloration around my eyes. That is really what uh, kind of bothers me the most about my complexion is um, how kind of like dark the skin around my eyes is. So if I were to do like zero zero makeup and had to kind of pick like one thing that I would do, it would definitely be, I think, I think it would be putting concealer around my eyes. I am also going to be using my fingers a lot in this video because <laughs> I really am in desperate need of cleaning my face brushes. I just haven't gotten around to it and um, I've gotten to the point where like kind of just spot cleaning them just isn't, it just isn't good enough. So anyway, I, um, I'll i probably use a couple, but I'm gonna be using my fingers primarily. Um, and then I just sort of like look at my complexion that day and just see like, is there anything kind of going on? I've come to the point in my life where I've accepted a lot of my blemishes and my skin issues or whatever. So I don't feel like I need to cover up every single imperfection, especially if I'm just, 
you know, kind of doing like an everyday look and I'm not going anywhere special. Um, and I really like to let my skin breathe. So I really like to do like the bare minimum when it comes to like concealing. Um, but if there's any part on your skin that really bugs you, then at this point, just sort of spot conceal. Just sort of, you know, kind of place it where um, you think your skin needs it the most. Like, you know, maybe here I've got like a, a sunspot in there. I have a blemish here. I'm going to leave that blemish alone. I don't want to cover up my blemishes. I feel like they need to heal. So I'm just going to leave that. And sometimes the skin around my nose is, you know, extra special red. Today it's not so bad. So sometimes I kind of use concealer over there. Today I'm not going to bother. And then I'm going to go in with some more cream products because I just like the way it looks if I want my skin to look really, really healthy. So I'm going to use the Chantecaille Radiance Gel Bronzer for a little bit of color here uh, where I would normally bronze and uh, contour. So I'm just going to squeeze a bit out onto my finger. And I'm going to just dab that right along the hollows of my cheeks and then blend that out just a bit. So have you guys been watching The Alienist on TNT? It's like a, it's like a limited series I think is what they're calling it. I think there's going to be 10 episodes in total. And it's based off of that book by Caleb Carr, which is like one of my all-time favorite books. And it actually is the book that kind of spawned my passion for New York City history and uh, serial killers. <laughs> I have a fascination with serial killers and not even so much the killer themselves, but just like the crimes and, um, and like how they were caught, just kind of everything surrounding them. I'm not, I'm not like a fan of serial killers. I would not go that far. Um, but I'm just interested in um, how they always seem to kind of like break the mold. You know, I feel like our profilers always seem to be able to kind of get close, but then there's always something kind of like unique about each serial killer. So anyway, <laughs> like you needed to know that about me. So, um, so that is the gel bronzer. It is a very, very warm bronzer. It's definitely not a great like solo contour if all you're looking to do is contour. It's a little bit too warm for that. Um, but anyway, I like the, the color that it kind of gives my face, especially when I don't um, have a lot else going on. Um, and then I'm gonna use a cream highlighter. I'm using the Chantecaille Liquid Lumiere in Sheen. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna squirt some out onto my finger and just dab it onto the tops of my cheeks here. So anyway, The Alienist. So it is based off of that book, which again is one of my favorite books, and um, I don't know if you guys have read it, but the series is definitely taking some liberties, but it's really, really good. I feel like the production quality is really good. I, I feel like you're getting a really good sense of like um, how old New York was um, and is still in a way. But yeah, so it has like Luke Evans, um, Daniel Bruhl, I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, um, as the main doctor, <clears throat> as the main doctor, and then Dakota Fanning um, plays uh, Sarah Howard. And it's just, it's just really, really good. So it's on Monday nights at I think nine, and each episode is like an hour long. And if you don't feel like watching the show, but you're interested in the book, highly recommend. And there's two books in this particular series. There's uh, The Alienist and then Angel of Darkness. And both of them were written years ago, at least maybe 15 years ago. Um, Angel of Darkness is good, but it's not as good as The Alienist, the first one. All right, so next I'm gonna use a cream blush as well. I really like to go in with one that's really bright, again, because I feel like, you know, I haven't done much to my face, so I need to kind of, you know, draw attention where I want attention. So, I'm going to go in with the Tom Ford Paradiso uh, cream cheek color and it's just this really bright kind of punchy color and has like gold reflect in there. It's just really pretty and again I'm just using my finger and I'm going to dab that onto my cheeks. And then as a guilty pleasure, <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to admit this, but my husband and I have been watching um, Arrow on Netflix. <laughs> it is 
um, it's a it's a TV show that really is created for um, I want to say high schoolers. I I can't imagine that the writing and the storyline is for anyone much older than that because it's so <laughs> ridiculous. But um, my husband and I both are kind of like big like superhero fans. Like I just really like the DC Comics and the Marvel superheroes and we watched basically all the other ones. We watched all the Marvel uh, ones on Netflix like Daredevil, Jessica Jones, um, Luke Cage and Man with the Iron Fist. We watched all those. We watched The Defenders. Um, and then we literally just kind of ran out of stuff to, not run out of stuff to watch, but we were trying to decide what to watch next because there's so much out there. Our list is so long. And I was like, let's just watch um, Gotham, I think is what we started to watch. And we both did not have um, high expectations, let's say, of the show. Because I was like, oh my God, I think it was on, was Gotham on Channel 11 or Arrow was on, on CW? which is kind of, you know, kind of a cheesy network. And anyway, we didn't have any high expectations. And the first few episodes of Gotham were definitely very cheesy and just, you know, super light, but it got really, really good, I think. I love the character development of like Penguin and the Riddler. I just thought it was like really awesome and really different from what you expect if you you know, have watched the old Batman shows, or if you've seen any of the movies, or I think even read any of the comic books. I don't think that this particular storyline has ever been told before. So, I don't know, we just really, really liked it. And then we thought, well, why don't we watch Arrow? And it got like good ratings or whatever. So now we're watching Arrow. We'll probably watch Flash next, because that's like a spinoff. And um, I think we're coming to the end of season three. I don't know how many are on Netflix. Um, oh no, I'm sorry, we just started season three. We finished season two. And yes, it's cheesy. It's awful. <laughs> it's really awful. But I'm completely hooked. And um, it makes me want to take like archery classes, of course. Yeah, so that's that's what we've been watching. Let me know down below what you guys have been watching. I would love some uh, recommendations. Um, we also just finished watching Mindhunters on Netflix. We watched that before we started watching Gotham and that was really good and that was so up my alley because it's like the genesis of the FBI's like profiling division. Excellent. Excellent. So awesome. Okay, I think I'm done with all of my cream products at this point. So I am going to go in with some hourglass um, powder and this I generally use as a finishing powder because it does have a very um, satiny kind of luminescent sheen to it but again because I don't have a, you know any foundation my skin kind of needs as much help as it can get so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of just lightly dust this again when I'm not wearing foundation I'm really trying to allow my skin to breathe so I'm just gonna dust like a little bit of um, which is it I think dim light is that the one that I use yeah, Dim Light is the one that I use because it has like a little bit of color to it. So it just kind of, I don't know, it just adds a little bit of life to my face. And I'm going to use my Hourglass uh, Powder Brush for this. And again, just lightly. So I'm just sort of brushing that over everything. And I love it. It just sort of like blurs my skin's appearance a bit. And then this one, this Incandescent Light, kind of like a nice highlighter. And I'll put that just on all the parts of my face that I kind of want to brighten up a bit. All right, next I'm gonna go in with my Sisley. I think this is the three in one, like brow architect or something, something like that. Um, but it has like a highlighter, uh, a pencil and a spoolie. So this is actually a very dark color for me. This is pretty much um, they call it brown, which I believe is brown, but it pretty much is like the darkest brown I've ever seen. It pretty much comes off black, but I've been kind of, I don't know, I've been kind of liking that a little bit more, and it is quite pigmented, so I have to go in with a really gentle hand. Just filling in my brows. I hate my brows. They are, um, I have long brow hairs and they're very sparse and I pluck them away to almost nothing uh, because again, like I mentioned in my Pat McGrath video, I am really a child of the late 80s and 90s. So 
thin brows were the thing. I'm just glad I didn't take it as far as some girls that I knew who literally removed all their eyebrows and just penciled in a line. That seemed like the right solution to them back then. Thank God I didn't go that far. And then it has this um, like highlighter bit in the middle. And I'm just gonna run that underneath my brow. So I'm gonna take it easy on the eyeshadow today because uh, for two reasons. One, again, we're not going for a heavy look. And two, I was playing around with uh, some new stuff and my eye just started to, actually both of my eyes started to really bug me. Um, I don't wanna mention what it is because I don't wanna like taint your opinion of it because I'm not sure if it was the actual product because right now my eyelid is jumping and that usually only happens if I have allergies and it got really warm here in Vegas I think unseasonably warm even for here because it's January and it's been getting up into the 70s so I feel like there's possibly like a blooming going on and I have a feeling maybe that was the problem anyway so my eyes just are kind of I don't know they're a little bit like dry but watery I, you know and I think that's only allergies only allergies can do that to your eyes so anyway I'm gonna take it easy on the eyes and I'm going to use my um, Chanel Ombre Premier in Silver Screen. I've worn this several times and it's never bothered my eyes, so I'm just going to use it today. I'm going to use my ring finger and just go in there and swipe it over my lid. And then I'm going to use my uh, Tom Ford Eye Coal Intense in Metallic Mink. I love this eyeliner. It's so, so pretty. And I'm just gonna line my eyes. I'm not gonna tight line, because again, my eyes are a little bit irritated. I'm just gonna kinda line my upper lash line and a little bit of my uh, lower lash line. And then for lips, when I'm doing like a no makeup makeup look, I like to do like a lip liner and a lip gloss. So I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury um, Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude. And then I'm going to use my Tom Ford lip gloss in Pink Gilt, one of my favorite lip glosses of all time. It's so good. Look how pretty that is. All right, and there we have it. That is my kind of everyday, no foundation, no makeup, makeup look. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below what TV shows you are watching, anything you can recommend. I would love to hear from you. Uh, please subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video.